Hey there, and welcome back to Review Wars. This time we're announcing the winners of the best racing game. So we did have four nominations in this category. We had Chariot Race, Steampunk Rally, Snow Tales, and then also Jamaica. But who did you, the viewers, vote as the winner? Well... You, you didn't. You end up with a draw. You see, both Snow Tales and Steampunk Rally are apparently amazing and drew. But then, how do we break the tie? Who, what, is, what do we use as the tiebreaker? Do we follow typical board game fashion of most gold? Well, that, that doesn't really work. But you know what? Racing games give us a really good idea here. Because racing games tend to have two ways of breaking the tie. Either it's the person furthest past the finish line at the end of a round, or it's just the first one past that finish line. So we're going to go with who got the votes first. So, out of Snow Tales and Steampunk Rally, who is our winner? Snow Tales! So, let's take a look again at why it's the best racing game there is. The best racing game is Snow Tales from Renegade Games. This is the 2015 edition. I mean, just look at the cover. It's got these cute husky dogs on. How can you say no to that? You just can't. I mean, even then, you look inside the rule book, and it's this perfectly laid out, really clear and easy to understand, filled with diagrams, explaining everything. Again, perfect. What else have we got? Well, Look at all this racetrack. You can make these huge sprawling courses or you can make short little courses. The game is filled with these double sided track pieces that you can just combine in any number of combinations. And the rule book even comes with a ton of suggestions on courses. So there's a huge amount of variety and replay value given in this game. Is that what makes it the best? No, no, it's not. Maybe it's the components. You have these lovely little sled pieces and these gorgeous wooden trees. I mean, that alone surely makes it the best racing game. But there is more. You see, what really makes this the best racing game is the mechanics. Because so many racing games out there I'll roll and move. Okay, they might disguise it a little and add a few bits in here and there. But no, it is roll and move. It is random. It is boring. This is so much better. There are no dice here. No dice whatsoever. What you have is cards, giving you a bit of randomness, which is important because that adds an element of excitement. You're not necessarily going to be able to do exactly what you want to do. But you're not limited. It's not roll the dice, that's what you can do. No, you have a hand full of cards and you get to choose how you use these cards. And it's not just how you use them, it's not just I pick one and I play that card. No, you can play up to three cards, but they do all have to be the same number. So this is a fantastic thing because the way your sled works is that you have two huskies pulling it. It's hugely thematic. As you play cards, these are huskies. You can play them to different size, and they're basically different strength huskies that will pull you different speeds. But not only does this control speed, this controls direction. So if you're pulling to one side, you'll go that side. If you're pulling to the other side, you'll go that side, which is fantastic. So it's basically movement becomes this incredibly strategic experience of you need to think well I'm coming up to a bend so I need to control my speed a bit how can I do that and you can also put brakes on to slow down and balance it is an absolutely phenomenal game so that's our winner Snow Tales I do hope you've enjoyed this video if you have do come back for next episode where we'll be discussing the best party games and I do hope that you'll also check out the rest of the videos on the channel as well as subscribing to the channel and sharing it with your friends and family. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.